A very warm welcome to the learning home. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to discuss how to set paragraph alignment in Microsoft Word. And uh, before I start the discussion, I'd like to bring to your notice that I am using Microsoft 365, which is the latest version as of now. And if you are using a different version of Microsoft Office, you may see a little difference in appearance. Let's begin with the paragraph alignment. And first thing we will try left alignment, then center alignment, right alignment, and then justify. So let's move to the first part is the left alignment. And what do we mean by left alignment is when we opt for this option, all the text in the paragraph will move towards the left hand side, closer to the left margin. So imagine if you want to make it left alignment, what we can do, we can select this whole text and go to the home tab which is you can see a bar over here which shows the home tab is activated and then in that tab we will see a group called paragraph and in that paragraph there is option called align left and you can see a description and the short shortcut for this feature is control l so when you press it this feature or you can press control l as well the whole text will move towards the left hand side and you can see here all the text has moved towards the left hand side similarly if you want to make the text uh, centered which we generally don't use it unless and until we are using some kind of uh, uh, dialog box or something like uh, 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 topic of any articles we use this kind of option centered alignment so in whatever way if you happen to use this center alignment option you can opt for this just keep keep the text selected and go to this this option called center and the shortcut is control e when we press it control e or press this option all the text will be centered aligned similarly we can use the same feature similarly we can use the feature to make it right aligned and uh, Keep it selected here again and go to the right hand. Go to this option called align right and press this. Shortcut is control R. When you press it, this press it like this. Now all the text will be right aligned. The last and final option is justify alignment. So in that justify alignment, the, all the text is evenly distributed between the left and right margin. That is the point. And in the most of the cases, I prefer to use justify alignment. So what I can, what we can do here is keep it selected and uh, just press this option and the shortcut is the control J as well. So we can do the same thing by pressing control J or pressing this, this icon. And you can see it is the same way we have started. Other option is that using the search box. Imagine you have forget or where it is located. You just miss the point So what you can do You can use a search box and if your search box is not activated You can activate activate by pressing alt plus Q and here. I'm going to press alt plus Q Then it will activate but for my case it is already activated here so I'm going to uh, select the whole text first I've selected it and then type align and you will see the option called align left and when you press align left you will see that all the text is aligned left similarly you can use the align left right center justify whatever is your preferred way you can use the same thing with the search box as well the third option of doing same thing is select uh, this text first and go to the small arrow icon here it will open the paragraph dialog box and the first option in the general tab is alignment and you will see it is said it is aligned left if you want to make it aligned centered just press it like this and you will see some kind of preview hook over here it says this is how it will look like and if you're fine just press ok it will align to the center similarly if you want to align to the justify mode just press it here is the preview click ok how you have found the video please do write in the comment section and if you have liked it please do like and share for more videos 
please do subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will be notified about the upcoming videos. With this, I will say goodbye and see you soon.